The SMS desktop software provides users the capability of managing data to make more informed management decisions, but it also gives the user complete control over where they can take their data, even after being imported into SMS. In this tutorial, you will learn to export a spatial file. In the SMS software, you are able to export data in several generic file formats, including shapefiles, KML and KMZ files for Google Earth, and text files. This allows easy transfer of data to other mapping software programs or platforms. To begin, select the data in the management tree you would like to export or select a layer in the currently active map. After you have the data you would like to export selected, you can either right click on the item in the management tree or the map, or go to File, Export in the drop down menus at the top. In the Select and Export Method window, you will select the Export to Generic File Format option and then click Start Generating File Export Process at the bottom of the window. Next, you will see the different generic file types that you can select to import. Select the file type you need to import. If there are specific attributes or properties that you need the file to contain, you can click Export Settings below the File Type window. In the Export Selections and Settings window, use the tools on the left to choose the desired data you would like in the exported files. You can save and load export templates for future use on the Export Settings dialog box that appears. Once you are ready to continue, click the OK button on the Export dialog. There are also six checkbox options available for additional export settings. First is Export Marks and Notes as their own individual files. You will check this option if you would like to export the marks and notes in a separate file in addition to the selected data in its own file or files. If you are exporting from the management tree or using batch command, you need to select which notes will be included. You have the choice of all years of that field or the current year of data that's being exported. Next is the export area information. With this option checked, there will be a spatial area record added to each file being exported. This is helpful for polygon datasets because the area for each polygon is exported in the dataset. Export files into a folder hierarchy is checked by default. Selected files will be exported in a folder hierarchy based on the management items assigned to the data. You can expect to see nested folders beginning with the grower name, farm name, field, so on and so forth. Export current layer selection only is checked when you want to export only the selected objects and regions in the current layer. Export individual segment level data is for data that was recorded on section or row by row basis. By checking this option, data will be exported by section or row instead of the full swath width version of the data. When you check export a KML file for each unique attribute, there will be a KML file exported for every attribute that you have selected to export. If the option is unchecked, a single KML file will be exported with a generic default legend with all the attributes selected to export. When finished, click Export to Selected File Format at the bottom. Then you can navigate to where you want to save your files. Name your files and select a location to save the export file to. Please note that four files are created when saving a shapefile. To complete the export, click Save. Additionally, if you would like to export raw spatial data from SMS, you can select the year, operation, product, operational instance, or dataset level in the management tree. Then select the log files tab at the bottom of the mapping window. Within the mapping window, you can either select save all at the top of the window or save files to 
on the right side of the available files in order to save a raw file to a location of your choice. This is another example of Ag Leader ensuring that a grower's data is not held hostage. Even if a raw file is cleared from the display or a USB is lost, it can still be saved in its original form if it has been imported into SMS. You have now learned how to export spatial files from the management tree and the logged files tab. If you would like to see more short tutorials from AgLeader, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.